G'day everyone, this is Beige of Mine, aka The Terrible Australian, and welcome back to the 15th and final episode of my 2018 Myth Audio Reviews. Uh, for this final episode, I will be reviewing the films Mandy, Behind the Curve, The Eyes of Awesome Worlds. I love this film a lot. Now, moving right along to the next film, which is the documentary on the Flat Earth Movement, uh, Behind the Curve. And the plot summary for this film is as follows. If you thought the belief in a flat earth had been left behind in the dark ages, think again. In a world of fake news, science denial, and anti-intellectualism, a resurgent, of flat, a resurgent flat earth movement is taking its place on top of the conspiracy food chain. Leading the charge are Mark Sargent and Patricia Steer, Steer staunch believers of a massive cover-up by the powers that should not be. Definitely NASA, probably probably the government, but also maybe the Jews or the Vatican. And they articulate they are act, articulate and charismatic evangelists for a new disc world order. Now, I hadn't heard of Behind the Curve until I read about it in uh, the Myth Program Guide. But when I found out that it was a documentary on believers of the Flat Earth Movement, I definitely had to see this film because I'll just say it right now. I find the whole flat earth move, the whole flat earth theory, just complete ridiculousness. I mean, sorry, I find the whole theory just completely bonkers and ridiculous. And to me, it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And I, I honestly don't understand how anyone could believe it because like, you know, the science is there. It disproves it. And, but yet at the same time, I'm also fascinated to why do people believe in this theory? And that was what kind of I was hoping for with this documentary being that I, I kind of expected it wouldn't be some kind of propaganda piece for the flat earth movement and be like this, like, oh, it's all real and stuff like that. I kind of had a feeling that this film was going to be much more interesting than that. And I will say it definitely is. And what I do like about the film, it takes a much more even hand approach. Like it's definitely not sympathetic to uh, the views of the flat earth theory. Like I think when you watch the film and you kind of are introduced to all the people who believe in the flat earth theory, like if, and if these people were fearing of coming off as really silly or ridiculous, I'll say this though, I don't feel like the filmmakers do that, but I think the people themselves come across like that. And because I know quite a few times watching the film, there were a lot of people in the audience who either scoffed or um, laughed at the, uh, of the members of the Flat Earth Fury movement. But at the same time though, the film also tries, has actual scientists who disprove all their theories and whatnot. But what I also like about this part of the film, though, is that it also tries delves into, like, why they believe and what they believe. And to me, that's really fascinating stuff. And the film goes into different sort of, sort of theories why that is. And a lot of it is absolutely fascinating. And a lot of it does make absolute sense. And, and also at the same time, though, what I really like about this film, like, it's easy to kind of, like, shrug off flat earthers and tell them that they're dumb and stuff like that. Uh, there are times I've felt like that as well. But what I like about the film is that it tries to be a bit more compassionate to them, not in the sense that, you know, we believe in what they're saying. It's more about like, and I like what someone said in the documentary. It's just, it's not that these people are dumb or stupid. It's just they're miseducated and people who are miseducated, who have been mis miseducated can be re-educated properly. And I like that the film at least takes that more compassionate view in that. Like, like someone says in the documentary, like if you try to antagonize flat earthers, like they're just going to be more dead set in their beliefs. But if we try to be a bit more compassionate or at least empathetic and try to sort of, you know, try to tell them why the theory doesn't really work in a way that isn't antagonizing, they might be a bit more... Uh, open to the idea of it not being true. So it's stuff like that I found really interesting. And to me, that's the stuff that really works best about the film. And that being, and also there are a lot of interesting interviews with 
throughout the film from both people who believe it and don't believe it. And yeah, it, it's really fascinating stuff. And I'm glad the film take, took a very even-handed approach to its story. Like it could easily have just gone one way or the other, but I'm glad that it took, took a more even-handed approach because it, for me, that makes it a much more interesting and more compelling documentary. And I'm glad that it sort of delved into sort of some of the stuff that I've been thinking about this whole ridiculous movement myself. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, for, I, I definitely recommend Behind the Curve. It's a really interesting documentary. And I think if anyone who has, wh- whether they believe or don't believe in the Flat Earth mo- movement, definitely check this documentary out because I think regardless on where you fall on, it's definitely a, a fascinating and insightful film for sure. Uh, so if I had to give Behind the Curve a rating, I'd give it a solid four out of five. I really dug this documentary a lot. Now, moving right along to the next film, which happens to also be a documentary, but this time on legendary actor and director Orson Welles, which is the documentary The Art.